Actor and reality TV star Whitney Duncan is used to being in the spotlight, but not when it comes to dealing with the death of a loved one. It's been three and a half years since her cousin Holly Bobo was abducted outside her Decatur County home. And WRAG's Melissa Moon recently sat down with Duncan to talk about the events that changed her family's lives for good. Melissa, is this the first time someone in the family has opened up to talk about her death? It is the first time family members have talked since her remains were found. Now, several people have been charged in her death and her disappearance, too, with murder. Whitney Duncan says that her family is strong, and that, combined with all of the support from the community, has made this easier to deal with. So I've seen one of these before, but they're really hot and sexy. Country singer Whitney Duncan says in many ways 2014 has been a great year. She and her fiancé, Keith Tolson, got to travel the globe on the popular CBS show, The Amazing Race. Is that Big Ben? Is that Big Ben? What? It is? Big Ben. Ah, sweet! We said our first uh, goal in the race was just to have fun, and we did, but... We both, our competitiveness kicks into gear, and we really get in that game mode, and it's just, you know. That's where our conversations get a little short. <laughs> yep, for you, turns. Bye, the girls. I told you. They came in eighth in the race, and a month later got married in Tennessee. I was so stressed out by that. I think planning a wedding is almost as stressful as Amazing Race. But Whitney says all of this makes. was a good distraction <laughs> from the things not so good in her life. Yeah, ups and downs. Um... And throughout the whole, you know, tragedy with Holly, we've, um, you know, it's just been a, been a rough year. Whitney says even three years after her cousin's kidnapping, she held out hope she would be found alive and was dealt a blow in March when Zach Adams was charged in Holly's murder. It's just something you, um, still so bad you don't, it's hard to even, um, grasp, um, who could do something like that. To someone you love. The worst came in September when Whitney and the rest of Holly Bobo's family got the news her remains had been found. So it's been morning really the whole time, but you still have a little bit of hope and getting that final um, piece of information for me was just, I didn't realize how much hope I was holding on to actually. Whitney says Holly was more like a little sister than a cousin and the day she probably missed her most was at her wedding. Yeah, the wedding was difficult for sure. We had um, a table set up for her. Whitney still wears these bracelets for Holly and has been beside family members in the courtroom for Zach Adams hearings. She says all they want now is justice for Holly. I'll be there when it when it matters the most. It's just really hard. It's going to be really hard, I think, to hear some of the details. Um, that's not what I want to think about or know, really, but I'll be there to support my family and for Holly. Now, Jason Autry has also been charged with her kidnapping and murder. Dylan Adams, Zach Adams' brother, has been charged with rape and a third man Man Jeff Piercy is facing tampering with evidence charges. As for Whitney Duncan, she just recently released her first single in several years, as well as a new music video. Reporting live this morning, Melissa Moon, WREG, News Channel 3. All right.